<laughs> One of the great stories, Bill. Mid-season draft, came almost straight in. Tackling machine dominated, of course, in that part of the game. And yep. has since become a very complete midfielder. John Newcomb, welcome to you. Thanks, boys. Thanks for having me. How's yeah. the, uh, the off-season gone for you, mate? Are you fit and strong and improved? Uh, yeah, feeling really good. Had a good break. Um, been able to relax, get back home for a bit. Um, didn't leave Australia like like some of the boys. And had a good time, when you went back home, you went back to Poowong. Back to Poowong. Yep. Or Poo Right. Poo Right, yes, as it was for 15 minutes. Yeah, they changed the shoot. name, Jim, of the yeah. town. Oh. From yeah. Poo Wong yeah, to Poo no, Right. I get that. Yeah. But why? Yeah. Just a uh, support, publicity. Yeah, support and gut health. Right like that, so. Yeah, it was good. It was, it was good. actually a good thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you're saying you've never been out of Australia? No, I haven't. I've stayed here, been. What am I, 20, 22 this year and haven't left yet? So, haven't left yeah, Australia. We'll get it done eventually. Well, yeah, a lot of your boys did. Where'd they all go? Uh, Europe did uh, Mykonos over in Greece and uh, London, Germany, October 1st. They well, had they, a good time. Did they just not get around our man, the nuke? Or did uh, George just say, you're not going? Yeah, she pulled the strings and couldn't, couldn't leave. Nah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time that's happened. No, I know. Actually, I got told once I couldn't go on the footy trip. Stay well, behind and actually. Because they didn't want to. No, no, footy club, Jim. <laughs> footy club. <laughs> said, yeah. You might get in the gym and do some work. But... Water and no, no. here. They all said, listen, Bill, you're not coming. They wanted the fat on the trip. Don't worry about <laughs> that. that. But what do you do? The best young player in the comp last year, voted by the coaches, by the way, mm-hmm. second in the best and fairest, played every game. Really, really good year. So do you, what do you work on? Do you work on something yourself over summer? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot sort of. Only been in my third year, essentially now there's still there's still a lot of upside, I think, for what I've been working on. So a lot of speed, a lot of contest work. Um, there's a lot of guys that are still bigger than me inside the midfield within the AFL. Cool. So, These wouldn't um, be too many. No. Nah. Look at him. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at him. What do you do for speed? Uh, a lot of like acceleration stuff, um, power, power lifting in the gym, quick feet, all that sort of stuff to try and break out a stoppage if I can and go forward. So. What did you do on Christmas Day? Because... Tomorrow. Yeah, we talked to... <laughs> <laughs> Who do you we speak to tomorrow? You told me that uh, on Christmas Day, down at your holiday spot, Jim, that all the Brayshaws come along and little Andrew and Angus ran 100 hundred hundred. You told Christmas us that. Oh. They've been doing it for years. Yeah. Do you do anything like that? No, nice family lunch and a couple <laughs> of beers. What, what do, you do? A couple of beers. <laughs> do you go back to Poowong have the big Christmas yeah, lunch? Yeah, mum's side of the family for Christmas Day, nice lunch, and then sort of try and get through the afternoon without falling asleep pretty much. <laughs> Backyard <laughs> cricket? Yeah, a little bit of that. Yep, it's all happened. Uh, Georgia, is she, oh, we've asked this before, yeah. but she's from Poowong as well? Uh, Garfield. So not far. Yeah. So she's so yeah. happy to drift back there. Yeah. You're not, yeah. get, not dragging her, kicking and screaming? No, nah, no. Nah, it's only half an hour away, so oh, it works beautiful. well. <laughs> now, Sammy Mitchell, how's that looking? Because yes. uh, you've cleaned out some experience. So um, how, do, how do we feel about that part of things? Uh, it's, it's really good. It's really exciting, I think, for the group we've got to sort of take on a lot of new roles for, for the season. Um, a lot of um, leadership as well to sort of develop into and um, sort of hold each other to account. So... And some punching on. Yeah, I've yes. seen that. A, a lot of. Were you in the middle of that nuke? Uh, no, I haven't featured in any of it yet. So just well, sis, standing on the a little bit, Got a little bit in it, but there <laughs> yeah. were a few that were. Uh, well, it didn't yeah. quite punch on, but certainly nah, pushing good. and shoving. Yeah, a bit Sam of, would bit have of push and it. shove. Yeah, it is good. He does love it. Young Sammy Butler's been in the middle of yes. most of it, so ruffling a few feathers. Which so is when good. it happens, just for the people out there that love their footy but aren't on a senior list. The, when that happens, do they blow the whistles and just walk in and go, listen, while we love it being willing, we don't want to see you punching your own blokes, or do they just let it go? What happens? No, just let it go. It's all, really? all part of it. Yeah, we've had, I think we've had two or three, and the Oof. media seem to have captured all of it, which has been pretty funny. But um, yeah, it's just part of the moment, is what it is. And as soon as that's over, continue on with what's going on. So, Who is the best boxer at the club? Uh, there's a few. J- Jazzy does a bit of it outside of the club. Um, CJ. Throws his weight around every now and then. Who, um, who was the first one? Giles, German MP. Oh, oh yep. yeah. Outside the club. Yep. There was Ooh. plenty, plenty of off season. See him yeah. boxing a fair bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Badger was throwing buttsy around. I saw that, so I wouldn't want to. <laughs> Who's Badger? Badger. <laughs> Sam Frost. Sorry. <laughs> Giles saying yeah. all these names. <laughs> Bill's eyes are just <laughs> getting wider and wider. I don't Badger. know who any of them people are. <laughs> Badger, fuck, yeah. Well, how am I know? Badger. Did you get him? Uh, did you go to the Brownlow last year? I did. Yes. Oh. 11 votes? Yeah. That's not, that's did, nice. Oh, bloody <laughs> oh. Did you have to scull, really? No, I didn't. We were pretty mellow table. Pretty, I, was, I was 
sort of had to be well behaved because Cripper was sitting right by me, so I was in the back of his screen the whole time, so <laughs> couldn't be making too much trouble. But well, well, A couple of the tables went to a bit of effort. Like yeah. The Western Bulldogs had the glasses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if mm. they were a three-vote option, they yeah. I actually don't mind that. That was good, yeah. It was funny. Funny on the night. We might have to get a bit more creative this oh, year. Oh, now we've got John Newcomb in here, and of course they start their season, the Hawks, on Sunday at the G. This is next week. Yep. Against their arch rival, the Bombers. Ooh. Are you made aware, I imagine, regularly, Jai, just how much these two clubs don't like each other? Yeah, we've got a fair bit of history at the Hawks within our coaching staff as well that yep. sort of bring this up with Colo, Colo way back. I'm sure oh, it would have started absolutely. well back then. And then, um, yeah, Sammy's had a few heated clashes with the Dons along the way. So, um, yeah, we get been brought up a few times, but um, I'm sure it'll come up again in the next week or two. We did a thing for seven pre preseason, uh, a recorded thing with all of the boys talking about their you know rivalries Rivals, and yeah. heart opponents, all the rest. Of it. And this game, the, the line in the Sam game came yes. up with Campbell yes. Brown, who was only a baby, and he said Dermot himself came down and said, it's "Right, the... we need to fix this up because mm-hmm. we're getting trodden on here." Yeah, and he said all hell broke loose mm-hmm. in the fight. So Campbell said, I looked around and Dean Rioli was next to me. So mm. he said, I thought I'd better get him in a headlock. Oh, no. He says, Campbell reckons he was about 78 kilos yeah. and Dean Rioli was in his mid-90s. <laughs> so he said he grabbed him in a headlock and Dean Rioli just carted him around the ground. <laughs> C- couldn't get him over. So he said he literally just ran around oh, my with God. me on his back. Campbell. Remember that, though? That, oh. that was one of the most extraordinary things ever. Dermot burst into the change rooms. rooms. He did. He said, we can't take this anymore. No. And they were beating well, him on the scoreboard. And but punching also, him up. Exactly right. So that's so. why it's such a brilliant rivalry. Yeah, I love the Hawthorne. Good game, game this game. one too, will oh, yeah. won't it? We don't know much about the Bombers. No. But it had to be said, we're not sure about Jai's but, mob either because well, they have got a very new look about them. Well, the new captain, we're happy with Sis. Certainly are. Yes. yes. How's he going? Beautifully? Yep, going very well. Um, taking it with his stride nicely. Um, seen, seen a great growth in his leadership over the years and uh, yeah, he's going to take the club in the right direction, that's for sure. And we've picked up Amon. Can't yes. Amon. Quality. Yes. Yeah, where will he play? A wing half back or Yeah, wing wing predominantly. Mm. Try and get him using his nice left foot. Bloody Ove. And Lord Meek, the Lloyd, big Lloyd. Ra- Lloyd. Not Lloyd. <laughs> well he thinks he's Lord. Lord, Lord Meek. Meek. You can call him Lord. I might call him that from <laughs> now on. <laughs> How's big Meeky? Yeah, he's going well, fitting in really well. Um, made the adjustment pretty quickly, which was good and um, yeah, hopefully he can give us some good service in there in the midfield, It'd be nice. Tell yeah. the Hawks fans about the two high picks, Cam Ooh. McKenzie, Josh Weddle. Yes, uh, Cam McKenzie. Hopefully, most of the Hawks fans watched him play last week against the Pies and uh, looked looked pretty comfortable at AFL level straight away, which was pleasing. And um, Josh is a he's a ready made athlete already at the at the age of eighteen, so it's going to be pretty exciting to see what he can do running up and down the wing as well. Got some good kids there. What about goals? We need some goals. So, uh, Cozzy, how's he going? Yeah, Jacob, good. Jacob. Yep, um, presented really well against Collingwood. A few good contests up forward for us. So. Hopefully he can finish off with, with a couple more goals. would be nice. Um, Emerson Jekyll will float around there. And right. Ferg, Ferg Green's come in. Yeah, looking tell us strong. about Ferg. Um, yeah, he's a, sort of your hybrid. <laughs> the Ferg Meister. <laughs> the Ferg Meister. <laughs> the Ferg Meister. Tell us Matty, just turn that around for me. <laughs> the the question. Meister, yep. yeah. Um, yeah, he's uh, looking really good. Um, you know, hybrid forward that can sort of get up the ground and drift back and be really dangerous and... Um, hopefully, Josh Strong will get a look in again as well this year, playing a very similar position. So, uh, Louis, how guys. far away is he? Uh, yeah, five, five mm. or six weeks from now, I think. Um, so he's Just, tracking really well in yeah. his rehab, which is which is pleasing. He's feeling good, and um, everything's heading in the right direction. So it's exciting for when he'll be back. Uh, the cricket's on one for seventy-two. The Aussies, being a country boy like your good self, you would have played footy, cricket, tennis, golf, everything. Uh, yeah, footy, cricket, basketball, golf. Yeah, yep. Any good at cricket? Wasn't bad. Got got a couple of hundreds next well, to the name. So well, there you can, go, Jim. Can hold to make a hundred bill. Doesn't matter what level you're at. Who yep. for? As Who you wouldn't know. I made an assumption yeah, and Essendon. Yeah. Uh, one for Halora Cricket Club, which was where where I played all my cricket, which is ten minutes from Puong. Yeah. Um, and then a representative oh. hundred as well. So not bad. Yeah. Now, how's the house going? You're living with Ned Reeves and Lockie Bramble. Yep. No, it's going really well. We've been oh, we've been together. 12 months now and just moved into a new place. So boys are good quality. It's always good fun. Who does the work? Because normally when there's three, someone's clean and actually does the cleaning up and worries about the dishwasher and the other two do bugger all. Yeah. Big Ned, what would he do? Uh, Hits his I'm... head on the bloody door. <laughs> he, he did that a few times at the old place. It was quite humorous. Um, I'm definitely the cleanest. Oh, I'll yeah. take that. Um, Brams, Brams doesn't love cooking. We'll handball it off more often than not. Yep. Um, 
Noodles is probably the best cook in the house. Noodles. You can have that title. So but you clean, Noodles cooks, yeah. Bram done nothing, nothing by the sound of it. It's a bit hard, yeah. He gets away with not much, I suppose. <laughs> so what is the other thing, Bill? Yeah, Some is. blokes just don't clean their sheets. Oh. But they'll sleep in their bed linen for about eight months. That's all right. Well, <laughs> no, if you're not, young. No, Bill. Well, actually, maybe not. Not young. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Who falls into that category at your joint? Yeah. No, we haven't got anyone in that category. In, in terms of that, we're pretty clean, which is good. <laughs> and do the club do- dietitians and that keep a close eye on you? Or once yeah. you're in that house, you can eat and drink whatever you want? Uh, no, we're, we're checking in pretty regularly. Um, we're like skin fold tests and that monthly. You still and, have skin fold tests? Yeah, I haven't done today. So it's happening pretty and? regularly. Yeah. What are your skinnies? Well, I was 38.8. Oh, so that's good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with Anything that. Anything under 50, Bill? Yeah. yeah. Did you ever get raise under 50? The bat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get it on your what, hips. For a double. Yeah, get you on the hips and then go to about, I was on about 80 then. So I was in, tr- I was in fucking trouble then. <laughs> Stupid. I used to raise the bat. <laughs> hey, the back end, you would have yeah. got close to a double ton. Well, I didn't do them. I just <laughs> refused. That's just stupid stuff. What, I'm out on the ground chasing the ball and the clippers are there to give me a fat test. Fair can Hey, all the best, Joe. We do yes. love the way you go about it. Well done last year. The Brownlow votes and the second in the BNF. And, uh, oh, they like Sammy Mitchell just plucked you from nowhere, didn't he? Everyone's yeah. going, who's bloody Joy Newcomb? Bill, he was under their nose at Box Hill. <laughs> they knew exactly who he was. Everyone outside of right. Box Hill. <laughs> Box Hill. Was saying, awesome. Who's bloody yeah. Yeah, it was John a, Newcomb? It was an excellent piece <laughs> Of what are you doing this weekend? Recruiting. <laughs> oh my God. Jai, when you leave here, are you going to go back to the boys and go, I didn't realise what a dong ba- dingbat Double Bill actually dong was? Bat. No, no, it's been a great time. I'll come in and any time and listen to this. <laughs> what it's are you doing quality. this weekend? You got off, haven't you? No, I'm training Saturday. Oh, well, yeah. Just to explain yeah. to people who weren't in the room. <laughs> yes. I said to Jai, we're just sitting here watching the cricket. I said, what's up for the weekend, mate? You got it free? And he said, no, we've had a four-day break during the week, so we're back into it. I reckon Brad's close to 18 seconds later. If that. Bill's gone. So what are you doing for the weekend, mate? I was watching the cricket. Were you? Yeah. And you're doing what you always do, which is not listen. What? <laughs> Joe, well done, mate. Now, how do we become a member, by the way, yes. uh, Bartholomew? I uh, believe in the Hawks. Grab your new membership for 2023. HawthornFC.com.au. Why wouldn't you? Very oh, yeah. exciting no, young team at the Hawks. Up and coming. Mm-hmm.